Hey guys, what's up? It's Fern. I hope that you are doing well. Thank you so much for joining me for another planty video. So today we are keeping it super casual, super relaxed. I have my cup of lemon ginger tea and it is pretty much bedtime for me right now. And I wanted to film this video earlier, but I just didn't, I just didn't do it. So now here I am at night filming it because I really want to have a Friday upload for you guys. I have been missing a lot of my Friday uploads in the past few weeks and that is partly because uh, the last two Patreon videos that I posted have landed on Fridays and it just honestly gets to be a little much sometimes. I mean partly it's my fault because of my time management and whatnot but um, Doing three videos a week is one thing, but then when it turns into like four or five videos a week is when I start feeling burnt out. And the second reason, sorry if you're not here for my my um, spiel, I will have the little timestamp things so you can fast forward too if you just want to see the plants. But the second thing is that um, I've honestly just been having a really tough couple of weeks. Um, I've been dealing with some personal things and yeah, I've just been going through it a little bit. Um, I feel like the way I look is a good representation of how I feel. My eyelash extensions are just hanging on for dear life. Anyways, I feel like I'm turning a corner and I start to feel even worse when things are just piling up and I just knew that I wanted to have a video up this Friday. so. I am going to have a video up this Friday um, and I do have a good one today. We are keeping it very chill because of the reasons mentioned. Sometimes when I'm just feeling so overwhelmed, I love to just have like a casual relaxed video to chat with you guys, uh, show you some plants and talk about them. So that is what we're going to be doing today. I have six plants to show you that I have been absolutely in love with recently. Okay, so the first one that I am going to show you you is probably my favorite right now in my collection. Can I even say that? I don't know, but this is just one that I have just been like in awe of every day watching it put out this newest leaf. Um, yes, this is really a work of art right here. And it is my Philodendron El Chaco Red. Look at that newest leaf. It's just finishing unfurling and I am just, yeah, I'm in awe of her beauty, honestly. I am living for this new leaf right now. I'm not even kidding you. I wake up and I look at it and check on its progress once it started opening, you guys. Like, oh my goodness, it is just so pretty. I've said it before, but I was not really into Philodendron El Taco Red until this one started growing for me really and now i just yes like oh my goodness the hype is real she's so pretty oh this leaf is so soft too and the back like are you kidding me not even just the new leaf like this whole plant is so beautiful look at that one that's the last one that she gave me she's so gorgeous i love this plant so much yeah, she's doing so well in the Ikea greenhouse cabinet. She has had some problems unfurling leaves in the past, um, so she has some damage from that. But since I've moved her to my greenhouse cabinet, she hasn't had any problems. This leaf came out so beautifully. Um, I'll put a photo of it when it was like still emerging and it just looked so stunning. They look like super hot pink when they come out. So yeah, really gorgeous. But yeah, she has probably been my top favorite as of late. Probably the plant that I've been, well, that's not true. I have another one here that I have been like obsessively checking on as well. But this one, definitely up there. Next. Okay, so for some of these, I have a bit of a theme of um, new leafage. Uh, and that's why I've been appreciating these plants. But this is my philodendron McDowell and okay, this is the new leaf right here. Just look at it. It's so shiny. Oh my goodness. Um, yeah, this is beautiful. Look at the coloring. Do you see that pink? It's so gorgeous. The back also 
has the pink if you can see so this plant is a hybrid um did i even say what this was this is my philodendron mcdowell okay i think i did uh this is a hybrid of philodendron gloriosum and philodendron pasta zanum this is from an import that i did with a friend a while ago but i originally wanted a or asked for a pasta zanum i don't even really know why because i'm not like crazy about them so that was kind of weird but um i guess i decided i wanted one anyways so i ordered the pasta zanum and then they sent this mcdowell like by mistake i guess and i never would have known but my friend knows a lot more about plants and um she was like oh wow like they sent you a mcdowell that's so cool uh and i was like oh like sweet so yeah that's the story of how i ended up with this plant um it's kind of a happy little accident but but yeah and at first i wasn't crazy about it kind of the same as the el taco red like i was just kind of like eh, like okay we'll see how it goes but now just watching it grow and get bigger leaves it's really really quite beautiful and I think I definitely am happier with having this one because I love the pink and that's characteristic of the Philodendron McDowell, not the Pastazanum. So I am quite happy with it. Uh, it was very exciting watching this new leaf come out. I don't think I even took any photos, but um, yeah, it was beautiful when it was coming out as well. And yeah, it's been doing really well since I repotted it. Living in a chunky mix is actually a chunky cactus mix and it's quite heavy like weight wise because it has a lot of pumice but um it's honestly given me like three leaves right in a row after i potted in this so it's really happy next uh this is another one that i have been checking like multiple times a day to see the status on the new leaf coming out um so this is wait where are the leaves <laughs> oh my goodness this is my monstera albo which has been doing so well you guys and i'm honestly i'm relieved um okay so we have a new leaf coming in <gasps> look at that the variegation on this leaf looks incredible okay let me just try to show you <gasps> look at that oh my gosh i don't know how well you're gonna be able to see but that looks oh it's focusing on my face no that looks so pretty and look at the two fenestrations oh i'm just so excited for that to fully open up and i'm relieved because this plant in the past has gone up to like seven or eight months without giving me any new leaves and i thought maybe because of the move it wouldn't be happy and it would take a hiatus again but no we are growing and i'm just i'm so excited about that i feel like this plant is finally establishing itself um and it's just doing so well i have it on a self-watering pole which is good because uh it's really the only moss pole i have that i actually like keep somewhat moist because it's just easy you just pour water in the top my other ones always end up getting way too dry but yeah, it's rooting right into the moss pole and just just living its best life. So I'm very excited that she is doing so well. And she lives in my bedroom as well as you may have seen from my plant tour that I posted recently. But it's just such, such a nice sight to wake up to, you know? Okay, and then next I have my beautiful philodendron billetier. Look at these leaves. Oh my goodness. Okay, so you can see that this one is a new one. This unfurled probably a week or so ago. And yeah, it's still very shiny. Um, this is the one that it gave me before. And look at the size that we're getting to for these leaves, you guys. This is very impressive. Um, these are the old leaves that it would give me much smaller um yeah much much smaller um but these new ones just look so healthy and beautiful and i love the growth pattern like they're just like shooting forward on my shelf and it looks so gorgeous um because my grow light is in front of the shelf and like shining down on them so they're just like perfectly kind of coming out and yeah beautiful love the loving loving the growth pattern and um the size of the leaves it's really just a plant that has been catching my eye on my plant shelf and honestly so low maintenance during the summer this was in terracotta and it was drying out like 
absolute it was madness like this thing would dry out so fast but now that i have it potted in plastic and now that you know we're in a different season it's very laid back to take care of i water this probably every i don't know seven to ten days and i don't really do anything else it just kind of hangs out on the shelf there so yeah love it Okay, so the next one I'm sure will come as no surprise, and it is my philodendron varicosum. Yes, I am having a varicosum moment. Um, I've mentioned before, like if you have a varicosum, send me photos, and a lot of you did, so thank you, because I'm just so... I just love to see them right now like i just want to see all the varicosums um especially the mature ones like oh my goodness they are so nice yeah this plant honestly just blows my mind um so as you can see here is my little cutie still quite a young plant recently put it on this poll that i made uh in a plant chore video a couple weeks ago and it's already like starting to grow beautifully up it so very excited about that. I do have a new leaf that is just starting to come out of this growth point down here. Um, I do have two separate plants in this pot. So once that new leaf comes out, then I'll be able to pin that one onto the moss pole as well. Yeah, I'm just, like I said, I'm just having a varicose moment right now. Um, I was watching one of Kaylee Ellen's newer videos and she was talking about how many different types of philodendron varicosum there is. And I did not know that there was so many, you guys. Like, I really, I want to research it now. I know, I wonder if there's one of those charts that, like, highlight the differences between the different types. I'll have to dig into it. But, uh, yeah, I just, I just want to know what different types are out there now and learn about them. Because I'm just, I'm just really interested in this plant right now. No idea what type this is, but I'm assuming, I don't know, something standard. <laughs> something beautiful. Like, look at her. Yeah, love it so much. Lives in my IKEA greenhouse cabinet too, and it's just been super happy. So yeah, and doing really well since the repot also. Okay, so the last one I have to show you is this little cutie. This is my Begonia Jula. Um, I actually just repotted this tonight. Look at how nice the mix looks. I put some sphagnum in there too. Like, you know, she has the full meal deal going on. Um, so I'm really excited about this plant because I have not had good luck with begonias in the past and I don't want to jinx anything here, but this one has been doing so well, as you can see, like she looks pristine. Um, and yeah, I just, I just can't stop admiring her. Um, I moved her to my Ikea greenhouse cabinet because she was out growing her little cloche situation uh, and she's honestly been thriving in there that's where she put out this newest leaf that's been out for a couple of weeks now and I can see that she is working on another one right there Oop. I don't know if it's gonna focus probably not oh can you kind of see it maybe yeah there now you can see it I don't know if you can see it but she is working on a new leaf and it's just it's very rewarding to see it doing well. Uh, I've had it for almost a year now, coming up to a year, and it just it just hasn't really been doing the best until recently. So I don't know, you know, maybe the energy is better, but uh, yeah, she's doing great, and I just I love to see it, you know. All right, you guys, that is going to be it for today's video. I hope that you enjoyed seeing my current favorites. I hope that you're cool with it being a little bit more laid back. You guys are always so loving and supportive. So thank you so much for consistently watching my videos, liking them, leaving comments. Uh, your comments make my day most days. Like they're just so nice and they really make me love what I do. So thank you so much for that. I appreciate you guys so, so much. I'm excited to chat with you below and I will see you in the next one. Bye.